So welcome back guys to another video and today I'll be talking about video game t-shirts. Now I think you guys can agree that back in the day video game t-shirts were kind of hard to come by unless you were pre-ordering a game and that was like a pre-order bonus or uh, maybe if you were lucky you would go into Walmart and they'd have like a Mario or Sonic shirt because the cartoons were so popular back then. Well now you can go into Walmart, you can go to any major retailer, uh, Sears, Kohl's, JCPenney, Kmart, and they have an overabundance of this nerd pop culture shirts from comic books to video games and whatnot, and I love it. I absolutely love it. But maybe you're looking for a shirt that has a little bit more personality to it. Maybe you just don't want a shirt with just a NES controller or some stupid saying, I'm not a fan of these shirts that are like, excuse me, why level up, you know? I'm not a fan of those kind of shirts. And t-shirts are a great way to uh, engage conversations when you're going to a convention. If you're a YouTuber and maybe if you're like me and have a little bit of social anxiety and you don't really like talking to people you don't know at first hand, this is a great way to kind of have a conversation. Uh, I'm going to talk about two websites. Now I do want to say first and foremost, I am not sponsored at all in this video. I'm just a big fan of these websites and I want to give them some love and big shout outs because these websites every day they have a t-shirt on sale that is as low as $11. Plus shipping, you're spending less than $15, 15 USD to have a fantastic video game t-shirt. Now the shirt that I'm wearing right here is from the Yeti.com and it's uh, kind of like a crossover between Pulp Fiction and Mega Man series. You got X and Zero doing the same pose as Samuel L. Jackson, John Travolta. One of my favorite movies, one of my favorite series. I had to have it, got it for 11 bucks. And this shirt right here, also from the Yeti.com, this is called Dungeons and Ganon right here. This is like a throwback on Dungeons and Dragons and the Legend of Zelda. I love this shirt. I get plenty of compliments on it. And again, it was only $11. Uh, this next one, let's see, because I got these folded up. This next one here is actually from Stranger Things and it's an 11 shirt. Now what I like about this shirt is it doesn't just say Stranger Things on it. If someone watches the show and they see you walking around, they might compliment and both of you guys can kind of be like, oh, oh, you know? And you know, you start talking, then all of a sudden you're just like, hey, I got a YouTube channel or I have a blog or you know, I have a website, check it out, give them a business card. Great conversation opener and again, it's not in your face, it's this little bit of reference for fans to kind of congregate and talk to each other. I love that. Now, that was from tfury.com. This is another shirt from the Yeti. It's an Atari shirt, and it's an E.T. Atari shirt. If you guys can see right there, it's got the E.T. carts, the Atari, you can see his little hand with the light, it's got the cranes. You know, going back to the old school days of, you know, uh, the landfills, if you guys watch, you know, Angry Video Game Nerd and all that stuff, you guys know all about the infamous New Mexico uh, or Mexico Ataris. Great conversation opener right there. Uh, and then the last one I'll show you guys is also from the Yeti.com, and this is a Mega Man Akuma shirt. Uh, you know, he's doing the pose like he's like an Akuma and stuff like that with the symbol and everything. If you're a big fan of Street Fighter and Mega Man, this is a shirt you definitely want to just walk around in. But yeah, guys, the Yeti.com and TFury.com. Uh, I'll have a link on the description below so you guys can check these out. And like I said, every day they have a t-shirt on sale. So, you know, you, you start going to these websites kind of religiously. Going every day, checking to see what kind of shirt it is. Because once that 24-hour mark is over, that t-shirt is gone. They might bring it back. They might not. Who knows? Act on it now. Now, they do sell other t-shirts that are a little bit more pricier, but still nothing over $20. They also sell hoodies and pins. And... Uh, also support indie gamers uh, like Owlman and uh, Binding of Isaac and YouTubers like JonTron and Game Theory and artists like Megaran. That's what I really love about the Yeti.com. They also have charity events as well. Right now they're doing one for Zeldathon that when you buy a Zeldathon t-shirt, they have various different graphics. Every t-shirt, the three dollars, goes towards Zeldathon, which Zeldathon's an awesome Let's Play fundraiser. Every year is a different uh, charity, so that's awesome as well. So T-Fury, TheYeti.com, I'll have a link on the description below so you guys can check it out. 
As always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming. Can't get enough of Excess Gaming Podcast? Be sure to check out our audio podcast on podomatic.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes. And if you have a YouTube channel or podcast you'd like to share, be sure to check us out on Facebook on our group page and join the community. As always, guys, thank you so much for all the support and happy gaming.